Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Please hit that thumbs up, share this video, and hit that notification bell. Now, let's just get straight into this. We are talking about Kenneth Petty sentencing, and I can say I'm kind of surprised, but not surprised, and I'm going to go into some details a little bit later on why I'm not surprised as to how um, how the circumstances basically came about to how he was sentenced. So, Kenneth Petty basically um, pled guilty last September for failure to register as a offender. Everybody became familiar with Petty because of his relationship slash marriage with Nicki Minaj, which has been controversial and is still being considered controversial. As required by the judge's sentencing, Kenneth Petty is required to inform authorities when he was moved when he moved due to his conviction from 1995. He failed to do so after relocating to California. The judge sentenced him to one year of home detention confinement as well as a $55,000 fine. And under U.S. law, just to let you guys know, if you didn't, um, registered offenders have five days to update their details of their residency changes. As you guys remember, he pled not guilty um, at first, but then went ahead and pled guilty. Now, this is why I believe that the judge wanted to give him confinement at home instead of in jail even though the prosecutors were trying to get him locked up for at least five years. Now, my thoughts on this is that I guess that they considered this to be an offense, but um, did not want to just put him in jail because of overcrowding and the fact that Nicki Minaj is his wife. I'm sure that she was able to afford him the best lawyer's possible for this situation so in a nutshell i am going to say that you know having to pay a fifty five thousand dollar fine for someone that really doesn't have much income but married to a multi-millionaire really doesn't seem like much now he's also looking at uh several years probation after the one year of confinement and the prosecutor definitely hit home and said, you know, he has to stay at home, but yet his home is a lap of luxury in Calabasas, California. Um, a lot of people uh, would definitely say that they agree. And of course, he has to stay out of trouble and he cannot leave his home. Now, I don't know if this home monitoring will come with like a home ankle bracelet to know for sure if he left the house or not. I'm sure at the minimum uh, he should definitely have to wear an ankle bracelet in this case just to make sure that he did not leave the home. And he is definitely looking at possible jail time for sure if he breaks this order and leaves his house before his 12 months is up. Um, I think that you know, celebrity definitely played into this case as far as how he was sentenced. However, I think that this might be his, like, last shot just to basically obey the terms of his sentencing. I don't think the judge is going to keep messing around with this if Kenneth Petty uh, decides to, say, like, leave the house or leave the distance, you know, that he's required to be in. Um, in order to stay um, compliant with his sentencing. Do you guys think that home confinement for one year was an okay sentencing? I definitely want to follow up on this. Um, I did report this when his news first dropped about a year ago. So you guys, this is the conclusion to the Kenneth Petty case. Um, I definitely, definitely want to know what you guys think. And do you think he'll actually stay in this confinement for 12 months? You know, was this too little? Was this too much? Was it just right? You guys tell me what you think in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, you guys, be safe. Bye, guys.